on his own. When they first come in, they fight with me. They fought with their parents, they fought with other nurses, and they feel duty-bound to fight because they would feel guilty if they didn't. And it's much more difficult to cope with these very manipulative children when they're up against a team which they can split, which they can manipulate individually, they can play one off against the other. So they just don't have the opportunity with me. It's just them and me. Simon, I don't want you leaping off to aerobics classes oh. until, I, until you're behaving more normally. I am. You're not. You're walking around in a sweater like a tramp. Is that normal? I've been sitting with the others. I, you said when I held my head up, I've been doing that. <laughs> Show me. It's not funny, Dee. No. You said I could do it. No, I'm worried about your arms. I want you to give me My arms to are much better. I want them here. It's just if everyone else is going and I can't go... Well, there aren't too many people going. We haven't got many people. Well, Tommy and Emma are going to go. They're going to do that instead of Tommy Yeah, and I'd like to join them because I've left my arm alone completely. And you said when I'd done that, I'd be able to exit. said when it was healed. And it is healed. Yeah, come and show me then. Emma, you're not lucky. <laughs> oh, awful. Simon's been here 12 weeks now. When he came, he was totally emaciated. I, I would have thought that at the rate that he was losing weight, he would have only lived to a week to ten days. The reason that you've let it heal is that I've given you an incentive no, to get it not. better. It is, Simon. And he's been a struggle. He really has. I've really thought about it, and I'm not going to do it again. And I mean that. You can go tonight if you... If I dress up. Burn that. Yeah. OK? Yeah. I'll ceremonial bonfire this afternoon yeah. with this in it. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Can we do that then? <laughs> Promise me. Right. That'll be good, won't it? Thank you. It's me. It wouldn't sit that side. Are we allowed to burn that? Why do you say you can't burn that? It's a wonderful set jumper. It's just it's got character. Character. <laughs> 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 it's Simon. As long as possible. No ums, no ahs, no long silences. I want you to talk about Yorkshire, but you can't mention county. Yorkshire is in England, which is in Europe. Yorkshire has many towns, and the main town is York, which is a Viking centre and has a large cathedral. I went to the cathedral... Extremely intelligent boy. He just sat ten GCSEs and has managed to get amazing grades in them, despite the fact that he was malnourished and really within a few weeks of death, I would have thought, when he sat them. there two years ago with my family. There are a lot of lakes in That's Yorkshire pretty typical well. of, in the north of children with anorexia. Each of you say two things which you like about yourself. Well, they're born with a genetic predisposition to anorexia. We know that. And they take everything to extremes. Is there nothing you like or nothing that you actually want to say? Which of those is it? It's nothing I like. Nothing you like. May I throw this open again and ask if there's anything that anyone else likes about Simon? I like your hair and I like your personality. Yeah, I like his personality. He's going really Could you actually tell it to Simon this time? I like your personality. You got <laughs> and you got a really good sense of humour. I yeah. love the way you can act as well. Anything anyone else would like to say to Simon? Um, I'm certainly a very determined person and I regard each one of these people as a challenge and the more units that they've been to and the more people who have had them and failed, the more I'm absolutely determined that I'm going to be the one to succeed. To lessen the resistance of wind and water. I just had to sort of stay on this stupid regime with them, nothing in my room or anything. And I had one, one photo and everything. Yeah. And, and you couldn't... Um, you couldn't write home or, or receive, receive letters, letters or anything like that. And you saw your fam family every fortnight for half an hour. And then <laughs> that, that was special, special and supervised. Yeah. And um, like in bed rest and everything, we weren't allowed to talk. They used to make me wear makeup every day and mini skirts just to try and grow me up. 
I was on bed rest and I wasn't allowed to wash by myself or go to the toilet by myself and I had to have people, if I had a bath, somebody had to wash, mm, watch me. Funny. Even if I cleaned my teeth, people watched me. I didn't want to go in at all. Like, I was kicking and screaming and everything, and kicking all the nurses, and, and they just, like, dragged me in, all six of them, and held me to the chair. And it was just like prison. Hello, Mum, it's Jackie. I just phoned up to say uh, that I've only got three more kilos left to go, and hopefully this weekend I'll be able to go home from Saturday till Monday. Um, could you phone up Convent Garden at the Erdang and see if I could have a dance class with Jacko on Saturday? Did you always feel like um, that you were in the middle of yeah. the rows mm. and me? Mm. Yeah, because I tried it with eating to try and get people to notice me because I was so unhappy and no one was and so I did silly things like take an overdose or and it didn't really get me anywhere in the end. But and you found up the ambulance. <laughs> Straight after I'd done it, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really want to die, I just wanted someone to notice. Some attention. Yeah. Huh? Well, we had a couple of problems with her when mm. we were away with yeah. her. Really just attention seeking, but putting herself at risk in a way that worried me. Although each time you talk to her about it afterwards, she will tell you how she it was calculated and she knew exactly what she was doing and that it was just to get people to notice her. Her weight's gone down, I think. She's exercising in secret in her room again. When you say again, I doubt if she's ever stopped, that she constantly is planning balletic movements, even she's when apparently... Absolutely. Not in watching movement. television, yeah. movements of Total nose. control over her body. Maybe she, maybe she should give up. Maybe she should give up. But I, I mean, perhaps it's not the right time to tell her that. Simon, you're not allowed to feed your biscuits to the baby. <laughs> We had five children of our own. I think they've just come to terms with, not the, with the fact that this is my work, that I happen to do it here instead of in a hospital. The big problem I've noticed is that I have to keep chocolate bars here so Dominic and Jana come in every night and take 